Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now imagine if you could live longer, reduce premature death by 27%, and actually lower your risk for cardiovascular death and heart disease by 43%, simply by controlling your blood pressure levels. No drugs, no diet changes either. Now, however, before I continue on and reveal how this can all be done naturally, if you aren't already, please make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel right now while it's fresh in your mind because I've got some very important videos coming out soon about this and similar topics and I don't want you to miss out. All right, so continuing on. Yesterday, I got a very important question from Max and he asks, how low is too low for blood pressure? Listen, mine is 105 over 55. My doctor said that could be too low, but I feel fine. What do you think, Dr. Sam? Should I be worried? Um, the answer is no. Listen, as long as you're not feeling dizzy or passing out or feeling weak, then it's totally okay to have that level of blood pressure. And there's a lot of normal people walking around with even lower blood pressure, say, you know, 90 over 50, and they're taking no medications and it's just normal for them. The only time doctors should treat low blood pressure is when there are symptoms such as, again, dizziness or lightheadedness, muscle weakness, fatigue, or the experience of passing out. Any of these could result in a bad fall or maybe passing out while driving, all things that obviously we don't want to happen. So low blood pressure is fine, unlike high blood pressure, which can literally kill you in an instant, and it's, it's why it's called the silent killer. All right, so how do you live longer? Now, to me, this is a very important topic because I have a family history of high blood pressure, especially on my dad's side. Now, when I was doing research on how to lower my dad's blood pressure naturally, I discovered that the lower your blood pressure, the healthier you are. By keeping your blood pressure below 120 over 80, you could live longer, reduce premature death by 27%, and lower your risk of cardiovascular death and heart disease by 43%. Now, what's even more fascinating is that in a detailed analysis of 18 clinical studies of almost half a million people revealed that people with pre-hypertension had a 55% increased risk of cardiovascular disease, 50% increased risk of coronary heart disease, and 71% increased risk for stroke. Listen carefully. This is what's important. I said pre hypertension, which is a systolic level of about 140. Regular real hypertension is over 160. Thus, the typical person walking around labeled as high blood pressure, right, is even worse off. Anyway, the point here is that you must lower your blood pressure if you want to live longer and feel better. And because it's such an important topic, I've written a bonus article about how I quickly lowered my own dad's blood pressure by 23% in just a few days, naturally. No diets, no exercises. And you can access this by clicking the special link below in the description area. So please make sure you take a quick look at it right now while it's fresh in your mind. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments and questions below. Also, don't forget to click the link below in the description area and copy the same proven formula my dad used to easily lower his blood pressure by 23%. Again, just in a few short days. Done. He did it naturally. No drugs, no diets, and no exercises. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.